Hello friends, this is Rudolf of Germany, your alien friend. Tonight I like to speak to you about yourself. Tonight I would like to tell you a little bit about your confusion and your inner world and how it comes that you don't find peace, rest and clarity. A few videos back I introduced to you a little small chapel. A chapel which you are supposed to imagine in your own mind. A chapel which you are supposed to be visiting in the night before you go to sleep. A chapel which resembles your own mind and after it is being cleaned up with a broom very carefully then you have to light a single candle right on the altar in the middle of this little secret chapel of your mind. This little light, this little flickering candlelight is representing your life force. That far we got last time. Today I want to go a little bit deeper into the subject. I want to make you understand what is really wrong with you. Once you are inside the chapel, you meditate, you reflect upon the emptiness of this chapel of your mind chapel where there is nothing left, maybe some small thoughts floating through, being observed from the outside, letting them unhindered pass like the wind through the chapel, but nothing which is belonging to you is left in this empty mind room right here, which resembles the chapel. Now, once you are completely calm and there is nothing left inside this chapel of your mind, I want to give you an idea about yourself. Listen carefully to what I have to say. In the moment when there is no thought left and your mind is free and clear, free and clear of all what you have been thinking and experiencing before, from the first day where you are conscious was able to grasp the surroundings from the first moment when you were able to took a breath and had the first thought in your head. From this moment until now, all the confusion, all the ideas, all the plans you had are gone because the chapel of your mind is pure light clean and free. The past is gone. There's nothing left. Now, comes the question, what is to be done now after you're stepping out of this chapel looking down into the valley and you're pure and free? Naturally, you have to use your mind again. But what is supposed to be the very first thought in your head? What is supposed to be the right 
thought to start a new life. Where to begin? Which initial thought would be the right one to build up new, positive, logical thought on top of? Think about this. Once your mind is clear and free, what think about what should be the very first thought in your head to continue your life. And exactly that is what nobody is able to do. All kinds of ideas start floating around again in this prior to this moment pure and clean chapel of your mind. All kinds of influences from the outside floating into you, making you think this and that. All of this is going to happen and your very first important thought to link your life into the right direction does not come to pass. You again are confused, don't know where to go, don't know what to think and exactly that is the weakness of the human mind. Not being able to come to point zero from where to start the excellent thought process of a superhuman, of a superhuman creature which knows exactly to build one thought on top of the next because everything starts from the thought process. After you had a thought, there comes automatically the word, the spoken word. You will voice this thought to the outside and then this thought becomes matter, becomes reality around you. The vibrations of your spoken thought, of your spoken word, will change the world. First little, but more and more. And it will materialize itself and becomes your life, becomes your destiny. And as long as you do not know which is the right thought, which is the right approach to your mind chapel as long as you are not able to learn this your life will be lived in confusion and chaos as anybody's life and nobody will prevent war and bloodshed because not even one human being is capable of living in a silent peaceful room by himself, by herself, without an inner constantly ongoing struggle. And this is what I want to leave you tonight with. And it is a very, very heavy subject to ponder for you. I wish you a good night, Rudolf of Germany.